if we want to make a progress in our vipassana practice one of the fundamental thing that we need to realize is that this process of feeling different sensation getting attached to it and then mind creates craving out of it and different thoughts around it this process on the unconscious level consistently going on and once we understand this and if we are committed to our practice one of the most sensible thing we can do because this process is going on on a very unconscious level right we can't really control if we are exposed to a strong sensation or exposed to an experience that will create a strong sensation we can't really decide that we will not create an attachment and craving right that thing will happen automatically right but the very least th- thing that we can do is don't expose ourselves at least voluntarily to the experiences which create strong sensation but are meaningless right for example the entertainment if i'm watching a lot of netflix or youtube or anything you know movies tv series and things like these these entertainments are fundamentally designed it takes years to build a movie to make a movie right and they are fundamentally designed to create a strong emotion inside ourselves right and if we create if you create a strong emotion or a strong sensation of any kind inside the body the mind will get attached to it right you can't really control this we can control if we want to expose ourselves towards that information but unless we have like that level of depth of mindfulness where we can see how the attachment is happening there is no way we can control this process of attachment right and if we are engaging in a lot of these movies and tv series and things like these we are creating obstacles in our practice right what is going to happen is we watch a movie or we watch a tv series right and that is going to create a lot of a strong sensation inside the body mind will get attached to it and then there will be a plenty of thoughts inside the mind a lot of noise inside the mind right so when you are sitting for practice the mind is exceptionally noisy right mind is exceptionally noisy because it is constantly being fed with these different strong sensation and it doesn't know like how not to attach so it just keep getting attached to these sensation and these sensations keep creating the cravings inside the head so once we realize this not just understand but once we realize this and it also depends how committed we are the pra- we are with the practice right because fundamentally there are two ways to living the life right either we can optimize for a lot of pleasant experiences or pleasant sensations and if that is our goal in the life right to have the mul- you know to have the maximum amount of pleasant sensations then obviously there's nothing wrong like right? you can watch a movie you can watch tv series or do things which are creating co- constantly pleasant sensations right as a side effect all of these pleasant sensation or unpleasant sensations are constantly going to create attachment and your mind is going to be increasingly more noisy and more dysfunctional over the time of period right so we can make a choice like okay this is fine i want to live on that level right but if we want to get out of it right if you are more interested into the calm composed mind or more empty mind and more interested towards deeper inside inside ourselves then keep feeding the mind with more intense and meaningless experiences is counterintuitive counterproductive right it's it's basically the more and more obstacle to make the progress right so one of the long lowest hanging fruit when it comes to improve the conditions for our practice is to follow this precepts of minimum entertainment if no entertainment right if you are really serious we have to just get rid of it altogether right but otherwise at least limit it right even if you are in the vipassana 10 day vipassana course you would notice for people who have done at least one 10 day course goenga ji suggests like you should follow seven precepts instead of five right and the seventh precept is basically to not engage in entertainment right and in my opinion this is the 
basic cause, right? If you engage in those entertainments, then you're basically feeding the mind with more and more garbage, right? Feeding mind more and more food to get attached to it. And the more things it, it is attached to it, the more noise you have to deal with it, deal with when you are practicing, right? The harder it becomes to go more deeper. So it may be very useful for our practice to create the conditions, right? It is already very hard to train the mind, right? It is already very hard. The nature of the mind is so... First of all, we are not even conscious of like what it is doing, right? And then it is really hard to even focus for a few seconds, right? So if we at least create the conditions which are more conducive for our practices, right? And with, even without any entertainment, we get enough of these intense sensations through our work, through our relationship, through our constant struggle in the world that we really don't need more of these, right? We really don't need more of these. So, yeah, I mean, one of the suggestions I would make is first of all, get clear, right? How committed you are with the practice. First, even before that, like, first of all, we need to realize, right? This is what is going on that our mind is getting attached to strong sensations. And that sensation creates craving. That craving creates the noise in the head. More of this we do, the more noisy the mind will become. The more noisy the mind will become, the more intense desire for, you know, pleasant sensation it can, it will come up with, right? So once we realize this, the sooner we realize, the better it is. Once we realize this, with this, with it, we have to make a choice, like how committed we are with that practice, right? Because Vipassana is basically working on this, right? Getting out of this thing. And this is what the liberation is. The more we get out of it, the more we get into that space of empty, clear mind, right? And that kind of a mind is very wise, very loving and ready for more deeper insights. So we have to kind of make a choice. We can't have both, right? At the same time, we are looking for pleasant sensation. At the same time, we are looking for creating a depth inside the mind. It's not going to happen, right? So we have to make a choice whether we want to go in the direction of maximizing the pleasant pleasant experience in our life or we go in the direction of liberating ourselves from this process right that doesn't mean like we don't work or get into relationship and all these things i mean externally we have to design a life which work for us but once we are sorted there we have to you know kind of be sure like okay if i'm really committed that i want to be out of this process then it's just a lowest hanging fruit to limit or renounce this whole entertainment 